Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up for the first time this Breville Precision Brewer. So I've just unboxed everything. So the first time we plug this in, we are gonna to have to do a flush and set our hard water softness. So I also rinsed everything out. They want you to, to um, wash the carafe. You're gonna take the lid off, get this all nice and clean. Here's the coffee filter basket. Again, you can wash this, wash this filter and the cone filter. Now it comes with a really nice manual and we'll be doing the before first use. So the water tank is not removable, but they want us to fill it up to the maximum line with just fresh water. Okay, so I've got the water um, tank filled up to the max line. Now the filter basket, we don't have to put a filter in here. We're just gonna leave this empty, but we do have to make sure the craft, make sure the lid is on the craft and install the craft. So it does come with this water softness strip. We're gonna open it up. I've got a cup of water here. That's my tap water out of my sink. So just open it up a little bit so you can still read it. We're just gonna dip it in there for just a little bit. And we wanna just kinda of shake the excess off, let it sit for one minute. Okay, so what you're gonna see is these are gonna turn pink the harder your water is. And then you're gonna use this little chart. So if all five of these turn pink, you're gonna set it to five, which is really hard water. Mine's about three, maybe three and a half. I'll set it to three. If it doesn't change color, it's kind of a greenish color. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna plug the machine in for the first time. And when we first plug it in, it does say um, select hardness. And again, I'm gonna set mine to three. Yeah, so you push the button once, then rotate it to the number. I already messed mine up, it's at one. But I can go back in and change it later. So now I'm at the flush setting. So at this point, make sure you got your water in, this is empty, and now you're gonna press this button. Okay, so I had to press mine twice. It doesn't really say that, but I pressed it once, then I had to press it again. But it's definitely running the water through it now. I can hear a pump kicking on and water's going into the carafe. Yeah, it's running the water through pretty quick. That pump is on steady now. Now the unit does not come with a water filter that you can put in the tank, but you can get that extra. Yeah, it's been running, it did a little bit of starting and stopping at first, now it's just been running continuously that water through it. Okay, it left a little bit of water in there. It's got, now it beeped. I'm gonna go dump this water out. Now, it, that water is cold. It didn't heat it up or anything. That's just when it does the flush, it's cold. So at this point, I can set the clock. All I did was press the select button. Now I'm gonna rotate this dial. Go to settings. You gotta kinda press it hard. Set clock. Then I can rotate this. It does have an AM and a PM. Once you've got the time set, press this button twice and it memorizes the time. Now I can do the, stand, the sound, filter type, let's go to exit. Okay, so I, I can do a factory reset. Since I didn't set my uh, softness for the hard water, I can hold all three of these. That's how we're gonna do a factory reset. You'll have to do the flush again, but at least I can factory reset it. So hold all three of these in, all three buttons. It can be a little tricky getting all three in at the same time. Okay, so once I did it, you, and once you can get all three of these buttons in at the same time, you'll see RSE. Press the select button, and you're gonna, it's gonna say no, you don't wanna reset it, or yes. So rotate the dial till it says yes. Press the select button again. Now see, we're back at the hard water softness. So again, you don't rotate the dial at first. You're gonna press it once, and now I can rotate it. And again, I'm gonna put three, now select that hard water. Now it says fill tank and flush. Okay, so I filled the tank back up. I gotta do a flush again. I had to press that twice. So if you don't have the hard water softness tester strip anymore, if you've got a bunch of white deposits around your shower head or around your sink faucet, that means you've got really hard water. So you'd probably wanna set it to four or five. If you don't normally see that around your shower head or the white deposits around your sink, you'd want to set it probably to two. So this time it's taking it down a little bit more. I don't know why the first time it left some water in there, but this time it seems to be taking a lot more water through it.
to the point where it's going to run it dry, it looks like. Okay, now we're back at the screen. I got to reset my time since I did a factory reset. Okay, so this is we're all done with the flush and the setup. Now we can make coffee. So here, this is the filter basket. Now, I, I've got this reusable filter I can put in here. This is if you're doing like over eight cups. They really, if you're doing under eight cups, they want you to use this cone filter. They say it helps extract more flavor. So you're gonna put it in here. It's got these little ears on the side. And there's a little tab right here. You're gonna line that up with that. So basically across from the handle, the tab goes in. This is for a number four cone filter, but they don't give, they give you paper filters, but that's for when you're using the, you can use a paper filter in here just like this. You're not supposed to use the reusable or the paper at the same time. But they don't give you any number four cone filters. So you'll need to get some number four cone filters when you're using this, when you're using under eight cups. They want that to fit in there like that. Now the paper filters that come with it are for large basket style filters. Here I've got a standard eight to 12 cup basket style filter. It's not big enough for this coffee maker. It takes a large one, which is almost nine and a half inches across. An eight to 12 cup is about eight inches across. It does come with a measuring spoon when you want to make your coffee. Now this container here contains, this is when you do a pour over. This is a different style brew head. Up here, you can change this out. And then this is an adapter that you're gonna sit on here so that when you put your um, pour over uh, brewer right here, this will go up here, which you can change out. There's really simple to turn this knob and then this brew head comes out. So again, this is the one you're gonna use for just normal drip coffee maker. This is for pour over. I used a paper towel to kind of go up in there and kind of, kind of grab it. It is a little tricky to get out. And there is this like nut ring you're gonna take off. Okay, let's go over some sizes. Uh, this is about 16 inches tall. Left to right, you know, you're about 13 inches. It is sort of meant to be a sideways coffee maker because the control panel is here. But you can put the carafe and the filter basket in kind of here or at the side. So front to back is about seven inches. It is a three prong cord. It's, it's uh, 39 inches long. And it's got this like loop that makes it easy to plug in and out. But that does make it a little bit taller. Now this one does not come with the dripper. So if you want to do pour over, that is extra that you've got to get. There's a dripper that you can put underneath there for doing single cup pour overs. Here's what the bottom looks like. There is some cord storage. You can wrap the cord around there. There's what that brew head looks like. That's the one you're going to keep in there. Now it does say it's 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, 1,650 watts. I love that it comes with this really nice book that really talks a lot about coffee, about grinding your own coffee. This is really worth reading. I think it's got some really good information in it. So right now this is retailing for $330. I did find this at TJ Maxx. I think I got it for about $275. I'm going to do a video on reviewing it. It's probably going to be about two or three videos because there's so many different op options. There's iced coffee you can brew. I'm going to do a pour over with it. So I'm going to do several videos on this, but this is a very nice coffee maker. Also, it is Specialty Coffee Association certified. When I do my review, I'm going to be using my own coffee, just a dad simple sip coffee. It's like a dark roast, Brazilian dark roast. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps out my YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with these coffee makers, I do give them away. And I just released my very first episode of Just a Dad Coffee Podcast, Coffee with Dad. Really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.